Hello again, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back to Operation Barbarossa. It is 1941, July. German forces have pushed deep into the Soviet Union, and this sector is no offensive. Hold on. No, no. Sorry, no difference. Hold on. Hold on. I got distracted. Hold on. Yeah, cow. Ruining my intro. Hello again, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back. Metal War Assault Squad 2. Good to have you all here. Yes, deeper into the Soviet Union we go with our troops and tanks and so much more. Oh man, this has been a very exciting so far. There is one final line of defense. The Soviets, as you can see, have been decimated by 150 millimeter artillery, uh, for example there, and of course by all of our tanks. Uh, enemy AT guns have basically been ripped up and shredded to pieces, but there still are some small pieces of their defense which we're going to ma dismantle here today. So if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and click or tap that like button. Let's get her well past a thousand likes. Thank you everyone for your support. You are all fantastic, and I think together we can do it, do it. If you want to download this one, look for simply the offensive down below in the uh, description down there. There should be a link to the Google Doc, and then go ahead and download this one uh, via the offensive, or you can just look for it on Steam. Oh boy, well, there's still a, quite a few enemy positions out there. It looks rather scarce, like there's nothing out here, but there's actually quite a few enemy positions that we'll need to cut through in order to be successful here today. So we're going to uh, continue to bring up our armored cars and eliminate enemy tanks wherever we may spot them. In fact, let me stop this one here, uh, as we uh, now need to target uh, the following vehicles. This one will have to go, and also the T-26 here will have to go as well. Uh, I think uh, more than capable of destroying that with the uh, the Stug Sturmgeschütz 3 here. We're going to destroy a T-26, and then also with the artillery piece, we're going to try to take out this uh, tank over here if we can. I believe the range on this gun is about, uh, I think, 200 uh, meters, or what, whatever, the, uh, whatever the distance is calculated here. Alright, the Sturmgeschütz is going to advance under fire. We're going to see if we can actually fire on this position. Looks like it's a lot less than I thought. Let's see if we can actually get a kill in here. 189. Okay, my bad. Accidentally hit the building. Or did I hit my own tank? Haha, <laughs> lols. No, I couldn't have. It would have been destroyed. We're being engaged by the vehicles in front of us. Alright, the Sturmgeschütz is in a good position. I think we hit the building next to him. Let's try again. One more time. Wow, look at the damage and destruction from that 150 millimeter. All right, well, we need to get ourselves some more breathing room. So that's why the Sturmgeschütz is here. We're going to clear out the uh, T-26, which can be destroyed by the HE shell, believe it or not. It's small enough. Sorry. All right, well, we need to uh, get rid of some of these guns here and then uh, push our way up with infantry. There we go, zapped him. Alright, infantry is ready to push up. We'll go ahead and get them up here. The Soviet soldiers are still nearby, so we need to be cautious as we push. Now, there's another mission to this as well, where the offensive will take place in 1941 in the winter. So make sure you stay tuned for that on the channel. Any of you new subscribers, make sure you look for a playlist for this one. It's going to be good. The good thing here, check this out. If you miss the gun, just shoot an object behind it. Boom. All right, finally the German troops get a chance to shine again. Let's go ahead and move over this direction. There we go, get down as we advance. Okay, now we just need to push through uh, one final Soviet defense line. There seems to be a trench line here that's been pretty much dealt with. And then we'll clean out this position here. Final objective is the uh, schoolhouse here. So we will need to clean up some of the infantry on that side as well. All right, speaking of infantry, we've got some uh, delivered in the last episode. So let's get up there and uh, support our vehicles on the left side. We'll get them into the trench to start with. All right, very good. And where is the, uh, on there, trench line. Okay, so now we'll start our offensive on the left and right flanks. All right, a little bit of a hill here. And there is a possibility that they could have AT out there. So we're just going to be cautious. One of our vehicles has been damaged. It looks like we got a flat tire. Luckily, we have that AAA service out here. And we're going to move the uh, artillery gun a little bit further to the left flank to destroy that tank. All right, everything's going well. Infantry's arriving. Tire's repaired. All right. We're going to move up to the road now and take that position. So 
Slowly but surely moving up. Oh, we're actually taking fire from this position. Unfortunate. Make sure we're aimed out right at that gun. All right. A little bit of concentration here as we're trying to keep everyone safe during our offensive. Let's go ahead and fire. Swing and a miss. We're going to target that, though, purposely. Sturm shoots has eliminated everything on that side. What do we have for shells? Only a few heat rounds left. Sturm shoots is pretty much out of the game. Armor targeting hit. Taking some damage, pull him back. Must be a heavy machine gun that's firing at us. Pull back. Repairs are getting started here. It is that heavy machine gun. Where is that? Whoa! All right, well, the artillery piece did what it was supposed to. Big explosion up there, taking out that tank. There is that defensive position. We'll get our artillery piece to fire on that. Infantry starting to encounter some trouble. Move up and get some grenades into that trench, then we're going to capture it. With that tank out of the way on the left, we can now push up with infantry and troops, clearing out some of those barns and other positions. Damn those Soviets. They keep hitting with Molotovs. They're hiding everywhere. I have no idea where some of their troops are. There's a guy. They're blending in really well with the ground. My troops here are getting hit too bad by that heavy machine gun. It's taking too long to be taken out by that uh, machine gun. There we go. That's all I wanted. But now we have the trench line. And we don't have to worry about a heavy MG anymore. So we'll crawl up into that trench and we've got this. Right, there are still some defenders somewhere around here. It looks like they're still in the trench. Soviets are definitely being annoying out there. All right, bring up some more vehicles. Panzer IV on the main road. And I wanted to keep that back because that's our best tank in terms of uh, being able to deal with other tanks. Looks like we only took like one loss inside that trench. Get in there, boys, come on. All right, we're just cleaning out the defenders of the village on the right flank. So now it's up to uh, cleaning out on the left. This may actually require us to go into some of these buildings. Oh, yeah, there's Soviets inside there. But I'm going to do something uh, easier than this. We're going to grab TNT. I'm not even going to mess with this. We're going to just drop TNT here and bring the building down on top of them. It's safer and faster. All right, he's out of the way. All right. We're just going to do this with the remaining structures. So our combat engineer, our pseudo-combat engineer, is bringing up uh, TNT to throw at some of these buildings. Boy, what an interesting throw. Building out of the way, though. And somehow survived. All right, there we go. I don't think armored cars have a, uh, TNT. 
I should get shot at. Hold on. Take cover. All these vehicles here, we can't just go storming in there, of course. The Soviets may get some sort of reinforcements or something, but we also need to make sure that we have enough uh, firepower to uh, bring down the walls of this school. It's quite a heavily armored uh, position. It's, it's very good concrete walls, so we need to be cautious about that. Looks like we got about 400 rounds remaining. Our troops should be able to clear that from here, so let's swing left. So far, so good. A little bit of a messy situation with uh, the terrain, but so far, so good. It looks like we lost somebody on that gun as well, but we're okay. Well, let's do this. We have uh, two HE rounds left. I'm going to try to hit some Soviets at the school, so let's see what happens now. Let's pay attention and see what happens when we fire that gun at the school. So for those of you going back to school, uh, this one's for you. <laughs> here it comes. Let's see if we can get a uh, sh shell shot off here somewhere. There you go. 150 millimeters. Bringing the roof down on that school. This is the last one we're going to fire, and then we're going to clean up everything the old-fashioned way for the most part. Village there actually could use a, a nice round into it, but we're going to fire again at the school since that's their HQ. I think it fired a heat, heat round. I'm not sure. All right, we're going to abandon the gun then. We're going to get all the men on uh, ground duty. It'll just take too long to uh, fire and do all that. So let's clean out this village here first on the right. Never mind, a magical T T26 popping out of nowhere. The hell is that? Taking out my armored car from behind. That's rude. Magical reinforcements approaching. I thought that would happen, but I thought it would be way earlier that they would receive reinforcements. There we go. Well, high explosive anti-tank round. No, no damage. I don't know what that was. We'll get that armored car up and running again. There we go, they're bailing. Alright, now we can work our way into there. I think we passed a point, a trigger point, where the Soviets were queued to get reinforcements. So now it's going to be a little harder to clear this village. I see some more men inside. We'll let our boys shoot from the trench line. All right, these should be enough to clear. We're just going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. We're going to throw anti-tank grenades at the uh, soft walls here. This, these wooden walls should go down. I don't care if there's... I don't care if there's a guy in there or not. We're going to just have to clear it. Right, we'll move up now to the next position. Where the hell? It's very difficult for me to see Soviets at this point now. They're everywhere and nowhere at once. There's a Soviet there. Let's get him with a grenade. Good thing is, is he'll probably run. And we'll shoot him. There we go. Alright, fire coming back. Oh, the armored car is on fire now. Wow. Well, we actually lost the vehicle just due to a magical... Oh, yeah, oh, we, yeah, we get reinforcements now. Oh, it's like, oh come on now. Hold on a second, these damn cows. Got him. Right, we're going to clear out this barn a little bit. Capture the farm now completed. Soviets at this point should be surrendering. Let's see. Looks like they got infantry laying down here. It's a very good uniform for this type of terrain. Seems like the enemies have a gun occupied over here. No? Oh, okay. And there should be another soldier in the trench somewhere. There he is. Hey, how you doing? Okay, I gave him a shot. Literally, I gave him a chance to, to get me, but nope. Okay, let's go ahead and fire, uh, fire off a uh, AT grenade up there at that house. And then we're just going to circle around and do this. So the uh, big charge up to the hill is going to take place. We're going to uh, charge the trench line at the very end and uh, start clearing it out. 
Once that's done, we're going to make sure everything around the schoolhouse is clear. And then we're just going to uh, plow right in there with the Panzer IV. I think that's probably going to be the best vehicle to bring up there. Look at him ready to dance. I think we've got all of our vehicles ready. Okay, looks good. Another, uh, another building eliminated. Another building there. Hopefully no more vehicles from the Soviets. Not bad, the loss of one uh, armored car in this whole situation. Our whole uh, plan would have changed if we lost, for example, a Panzer III or something along those lines. Okay, let's get back, get down. Oh, look at him run. There we go. Alright, now, one more enemy soldier around here. Um, there he is. I'm going to send the boys over. We're going to throw a grenade, and then as he's running, we're just going to pop him. Got him. Very nice. All right. So now we are almost ready to start the assault. Doesn't look like the enemy gets any more reinforcements, so let's go over here and lay down some fire. And let's raid those trenches. Seems like the Soviets may have men. I'm not going to take a chance. I'm just going to throw grenades along the line. And we're going to start capturing the trench line. Yeah, it's an awfully big trench, so we may as well be sure. There we go. Very nice. Okay, we're just going to clean up uh, any defenders in here. Work our way down the trench. We'll meet these guys in a second. All right, now we got the village here. Let's take a look at our objectives. Capture the school and the village in the north. So I'm assuming this is the village next to the school. So that's our next objective now. Let's bring up the Panzer IV. Armored car and the Panzer III. All right, we'll have the four help at the village, and the two other tanks can help at the uh, HQ at the school. This vehicle might still be repairable. If the uh, repair kit is around, maybe. I think it's totaled, though. Probably totaled. Yeah, okay, we're gonna keep some forces on the flanks for security. Glad we abandoned the artillery. We didn't need that. All right, you guys get ready to hop in the car. All right, let's see. There we go. Armored car seems to be out of uh, gun gun ammo for the 20 millimeter. Ah, yes. Nothing I like better than clearing a village by blowing up the houses like that. Very satisfying. Nice. Looks like one more on the left. Let's blow a hole right in the side of this building. If we can. Wow. Quite the armored house. This building should be destructible. Damn right. That's what I thought. Alright, to make it easy on the tanks, let's get a couple of AT grenades here and here. Nice. Alright, that village should be clear. Just need to get an infantryman in there.
down, boys. Get down. All right, let's walk in and claim victory. Here we go. All right, tanks are approaching the school. Actually, maybe over here that we have to claim. Maybe it's this village. I'm not sure. Oh, grenade. Whoa, nice roll. Some of those guys are knocked out, but we're okay. Nice throw, though. Actually, I think that was some Soviet debris that went flying. There we go. All right, the school is ours. Wow, well, so must have been some elite f uh, defenders there to <clears throat> be smart enough to throw a grenade like that. Let's check the interior of the school. All right, done. All right, one more thing to do. Capture a village to the north. I'm not sure exactly where that, what that means. I don't know if that means up here or here. We'll just send out random troops here to see if we can capture. Essentially what it means is that a random soldier has to just walk into the capture point. We've essentially won. We just need to figure out where the last little objective is. I don't like when mod makers do this where they don't give you the... You can't click the binoculars to see where the position is. And I'd hate to see if there's... If we, I don't want to miss any sort of counterattack or anything, so we need to make sure we find this. Okay, we've captured this. That position. We went through the church. There we started the charcoal factory. Wow. Doesn't seem... The map doesn't seem that big after all now that we've cleared it out. But you can see how many Soviets were into that small space like that. I think it's on this right side. I'm going to try to just spam troops over here and see if we can get them walking around. Let's call out a vehicle, too. Doesn't look like we missed anybody. I don't see any red dots on the, uh, the mini-map there. All right, vehicles arrived. Well, regardless, we have cleared the entirety of the map and uh, pretty much completed this mission. I don't think there will be any sort of counterattack or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and call it here, and I will see you all next time. Thank you very much for clicking and tapping that like button. This was a good mission. Tons of fun, lots to do, losses on both sides. Very, uh, very, 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 very fun. I liked it. I liked it a lot. So I'll see you all next time. Thanks for subscribing and being here, and I'll see you soon. Bye.